good afternoon everybody so this is Caleb my lovely model to show you how to cut hair now I'm only going to show you a simple technique just to tide everybody over through this time so what you'll need is a pair of clippers now these are professional ones so you should be able to pick some up from Amazon to kill me. It's not to kill you now Caleb has a grade two so your clippers should come with a load of different guards. I don't know if you can see that. That's how short that will go down to. And uh, I just finish off with a, a grade one. Okay. Now, I'm fortunate that I've got a water spray. Another way of wetting the hair down. is a jug of water and dip your comb in it. So I'm going to show one side one way of doing it and another side the other way of doing it. Okay, so let's just move that a bit more there so it's central so you can all see. So this one, you don't want to go too high up. So look at where the, the score rounds off. Now, I always use a comb. You guys are not going to be able to do this. But it helps with the blending process when you go over with the grade two. So this side, I'm going to do it like that. Now, put your guard on. Now, you don't want to run. Let's turn these off a minute. You don't want to run up like that because you're going to take off what you've just already blended. You're going to, going to come like that, so away from you. Okay, all right, here we go. So that's that technique. So good if you turn and look that way. So can you see, you've already started to blend it. Okay, right, so the other side, I'm gonna show it you without using the comb. I don't like doing it this way, personally, because I don't think you get as nice a blend. But everybody's got their own choice. So I'm going in, but pulling out. But I'm not going right up because you're going to have to blend that. Right, so if you want to turn that way, Caleb, again, so you can see. So it's not a dissimilar line there. You turn and look at me, pop it. Turn and look at me to that side. I just find that that gives you a better blend doing it that way, but being the fact none of you guys are hairdressers, look that way, not me, you might find that easier. So just remember you go in, in and pull in away, keeping the kid's head still without moving. Mm. Right. Okay, just pop those down. Mm. Right, sweetie, we're gonna turn you around. Oh, what? Yeah, because so they can see the back. Hi. Right, hop off. Let's turn the chair around. No, hop off. I'm not going to sit for a minute. On there. Right. Hi. Right, turn that way. Let's bring it closer. Okay, so round the back. I'm going to do it without my comb because... Um, you guys won't be able to do it the way I do it. So, head down. So, I hope you can all see. So, if you can see, I'm doing that motion. Sorry. I'm 
not hurting him, I promise. He's just being a whinger. Just tilt your head down a bit. Stop. You've got to pop your head down because I can't get at you and that's why I'm having to push on you harder so that I get it all off. that's that bit done okay now normally I would then sit up properly start sectioning that off clip that bit out of the way and then pull it like that but I'm not even going to attempt that bit for you because you won't get it so what I'm now going to do Keita just pop off again pop off turn your face in again right pop off again so don't wet the hair down first do that bit first what's the matter do do the clip a bit first before you wet it down i'm covering you over so you don't get hairy clip points taken off so if you kneel down a bit that's it that's better <laughs> There we go, right, that's all wet down. Okay, so, kneel down, because I can't reach you. No, kneel straight, that's, no, kneel, sit on your legs. That's it, right, okay. So, on the top of the hair, I would normally make a rectangular from the crown, just before the crown, so pop your head, look down, pop it, so people can see. So. If you can see, there's a line there to go forward, and then I would section like that, so you've got a rectangle, and I'd normally work forward like that, but for your purpose, I'm going to show you a quick tip so that it makes it easier so you, you level. Right, so turn around. Stand the chair, but turn around facing the table. Right, Neil, again. Right, so I've got my box, it's all sectioned off. So, pull your head, small section, but parallel to the head. Oh, I don't want to take Caleb's head too short. Close your eyes. Um, And then pull up another section up to match that. Okay, so then you've got that section in the middle that will be all the same length. Okay, so you've just got that bit that's added into it. So you've got your line, we call it a design line. Right, can okay, you turn and face the iPad again? Right, kneel down on your legs again. That's it, right. So now what you would do is pull everything up <laughs> parallel to there so you can see your, the bit that you cut so you can match everything to it. Moving forward, pulling it up so you've got your little line to follow. moving forward making sure that you cut in where that little gap is so that you're matching sorry Kayla okay. 
So then if you pull it up like that as you're going back through, you should find that it's all level. Okay? So can you turn that way? Why are you doing to my hair? I haven't done it. No, face the table. Neil. Thank you. Right, so then again if I do that, it's all level again. If your kid keeps your head straight. Right, so then the next bit is where the crown is. Now some people have double crowns, you need to be exceptionally careful. So if you can see Caleb's scalps there, you're wanting to follow the shape of the head around. And you can see where the blend is there. And then we're going to pivot round the head. So a bit like an apple pie where we cut it into sections. You want to be doing that with the haircut. So you go in round like that until you get to that bit. And then you move in like that. It's round this area that you will pivot round the head as if you were cutting a cake or an apple pie. Keeping the shortest point. Turn and face the iPad again for me, Munchkin. Now I'd normally pivot round. You can sit on your legs again. Normally I'd pivot round a client's head, but obviously for your benefit, Caleb's having to move for me so that I can pivot round. Again, so if you can see, short point there, short point there. So that's the bit that wants cutting off. And again there, short there, short there. So that's the bit that's going. And the same here. Right. So you can already see, you turn and look at the table again for me, Munchkin. That's it, right. We'll deal with that in a minute, but you can see it's starting to blend now. Okay, turn and look at the outfit again. So you're gonna just you're now gonna follow around the other way again, looking for your short point, the two short corners. You're basically pulling your fingers out 90 degrees around the head, keeping your fingers straight. As you can see. So if you go closer, Caleb, to the iPad, right, turn and face that way. So you can see this side's better because I've used a clipper comb and blended it up already. So half the blending's already done. Turn and look at the table. So you can see, Caleb, so that they can see, that's it. That's better, but it still could do with a bit more blending on it. Okay, right, and then, uh, Neil. So, let's move Caleb a bit. Right, turn a look at the oven view. Right, okay, there we go. So, some of you are gonna find this really tricky to do. We call it scissor over comb, so you go in like that. So just literally taking the edges off to try and soften that in.
So the trick is, if I do it from this side so you can see, we'll go in like that. But just don't go in and take clumps off. You're looking for long bits and softly blending it. Can you see? Uh, just put your head down a bit, won't you? Come on. What's that? If you've got a bit of a weight line there, you can pull it up, and again, you can see there the short bit. Just take that edge off. Again, some of you are not going to have hairdressing scissors, you're going to have kitchen scissors. Be very, very careful with kitchen scissors with kids um, you're definitely going to end up with chunks so if you're unsure just leave them um, I mean the other option what some parents might choose to do is put a two on and then a four a, run the four over the top of the, the kid's head and or your husband's even Yeah, well, Daddy's got no hair, has he? Don't cut Bowen's hair. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is take, because obviously this side, I didn't go in with the clipper comb, I went in with doing it the other way and I don't like working like that because it doesn't blend it so brilliantly but for you guys tidying you over until you can get to the hairdressers it just gives you a bit of an idea of how to manage it right okay so let's move you around again nearly nearly finished Right, so we we'll sweat this down again. Sorry, sorry. Caleb's got a double crown, so I have to be exceptionally careful Wait. how I cut it. You've got two crowns there, mm. so it'll stick up if I take it too short. That's why I do it like I did it. You already look better as Munchkin. Right, so yeah. fringe, as you saw my fringe tutorial. Again, if you can see there, keep still you. Point cut, the fringe. Do not go like that. Keep still. That's the other thing, kids don't sit still. So all you parents will now know what us hairdressers go through every time we cut a child's hair, because they don't sit still and start pinching you. Like this one does. Mm -hmm. And then they moan because they've had enough and they don't want to sit still anymore. Mm -hmm. Or I get as forget from this one. Are you done yet? Right. So with Caleb, because he's got really, really fine hair on the bottom and round his ears, because just to make it easier, I just run the grade one over just to blend it a bit and take the long hairs off. Now, it, what I suggest you do, I don't know if you can see, there's a lever there, so you can extend the blade. Come on. So, just to get those long bits around his ears. Just turn and look at the table munchkin so we can show them. So I'm just going up a bit. It's almost like doing a bit of a fade, but it's not a fade. You just look like blending it. But make sure you've got you, I haven't lengthened it on Kayla because I want it quite short, but make sure you have lengthened it first and then go over areas. 
Right, let's turn you around so I can show you them the back. Mm. Right, nearly done now, Munchkin. Mm. One minute. Bye. Right. Head up. Well, sit up and head down. Mm. That's it. Right, so as you can see, we've got a few fluffy bits. And I like the way Caleb's hairline is, and I don't like it squaring off. So all I'm going to do is the same, but again, I've lengthened the blade. There's the grade one on, and it's just taking those long bits off. Head up for me, once you can see if you can see, it's it's pretty well blended. The best I can do with what equipment I've got here. Right, there we go. Hope that helps. Let me mess it up. There you go, all done. Say bye to your audience. Bye.